Seminole County deputies say an alert bank teller helped prevent a local widower from being scammed out of more than $20,000. Investigators say one of his own family members tried to do it. West 2's Bob Keeling is live at the Wells Fargo Bank on Hunt Club Boulevard. And Bob, what happened there? Well, Jim, according to investigators, this uh, widower, who is a, a well-known customer here at the bank, came in about 3 o'clock yesterday uh, with a younger woman. And the tellers noted that he looked confused, not quite sure why he was there. And then when the story from the woman he was with started to change as to why she needed all that money, they got suspicious. Seminole County investigators say 23-year-old Brittany Stolen brought her aging great uncle to this Wells Fargo bank branch yesterday afternoon. Tellers say the man, whose wife had died recently, seemed confused, not altogether sure why he was even at the bank. Stolen, who explained that she'd been the caretaker of her great aunt and uncle for the past year and a half, inquired about withdrawing $20,000 from his account. Luckily, in this situation, the bank teller was able to stop this transaction from happening. The teller told investigators Stolen gave several stories about why she needed the money. Suspicious, the teller looked in the man's file, discovered a power of attorney document filled out by another family member who told her not to give Stolen any money. Deputies were called to the scene and arrested Stolen on suspicion of attempted exploitation of the elderly. Well, it's a very disappointing case to hear about uh, when someone in a position of trust tries to uh, exploit a loved one or family member for um, especially finan their financial gain. This type of case is not unusual. Statistics show that family members are suspects in about 60% of senior financial exploitation cases, far more than friends, strangers, or paid caregivers. Now, just in the last 15 minutes, I got a statement from a Wells Fargo spokeswoman who told me uh, that indeed they do routinely train their tellers to look for signs of elder financial abuse and report it promptly. And indeed, that's what happened here yesterday afternoon. Reporting live in Seminole County, I'm Bob Keeling, West 2 News.